Alright, today we're going to talk about SWASH, also known as SWASH FR, and uh, what it does and, and, and what it's about. Now, I'm going to go in here to my SWASH setting. And uh, when you start out setting your helicopter up, you should have, you should all be 50s. I can't tell you if it'll be negative 50 or positive 50. That'll all depend on your servos because the swash or swash FR also reverses which way your swash plate is going to move. Like um, this is the elevator, and if I wanted to, to go the opposite direction, I would reverse the elevator from. 40 positive to 40 negative and then that way the swash would move the uh, elevator would move in the opposite direction also you use the, the swash um, FR to check your aileron and elevator pitch and you're going to put it on your panel here and this would be my aileron pitch. And it looks like I have oops. Uh, about seven degrees of it. Which is good. Uh, on a flyboard helicopter, I believe you shouldn't have uh, no more than six degrees of pitch. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, because if you have, uh, for example, nine degrees of uh, elevator and aileron pitch and ten degrees of pitch, uh, it'll add up to be too much pitch in your helicopter. Have bog and you'll have uh, tail blowouts and uh, stuff like that. So. A lot of people that have Titan helicopters and you don't have exponential settings, well you can use your swash uh, settings to uh, limit the amount of throw that you're getting from your aileron and elevator and, that, and, and that'll be like a, in a sense an exponential um, adding you, you, you lower your dual rates as needed helps make the helicopter more controllable. So that was the aileron. And now I want to check the elevator. I'm going to turn the fly bar this way. I'll put the gauge to this side. I'm going to check my elevator pitch. Just go to my elevator here. And be careful when you're lowering these values, like this says uh, my elevator positive 40. Tip it up. If I make it say, uh, so now we can see that it. I make sure it says positive because if I take it into the negative, then I would be happy and then I will have re reversed the position of your uh, swash plate or the movement of the helicopter. So be careful there. So remember, start at 50. Don't start at 75 or 100 when you send up your helicopter because then you won't have the 50% uh, to go uh, up or down as you need it. You understand what I mean? So you start at 50. And uh, some people just uh, go out and adjust these values a little bit while they're flying. But, you know, I think when you do that, you don't know exactly where your pitch is again. So you probably want to set your pitch up this way and then use, like, um, your dual rate and your exponential to make the helicopter perform uh, more agile or faster how you want it. Thanks for watching.